Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Kuwait Transfer V2 2 bike platform rack right here on our 2019 Buick Encore. So the Kuwait Transfer is one of my favorite bike racks because it has a bunch of different premium features you'd expect from Kuwait but then it has unique features to itself like its goal post design as well as its front wheel or I guess its tilt away feature. So we'll take a look at those features but we'll focus on the Buick Encore just to make sure that you get the right fit for you, your bicycles and your vehicle. First is tilt away. What I like to do is if I don't have another bike loaded up on here, I just put that over to the side, step right in there and step on this lever. That disengages the bike rack and allows it to tilt away. Why would you do that? Well, what if you want to access your hatch real quick? You want to grab your helmets, your bags, your waters. You can do so even with your bikes on because notice how much space we have between the door, our pedals and our handlebars, allowing us to get in there and grab what we need without having to take the bikes off. And then we just close it, go back around, push it back up into place. It snaps there and you're ready to hit the road again. So just like that, it's very quick and easy with this style of a tilt away. Now this does have a 40 pound weight capacity because the version I'm using is the quarter inch shank version. You can also get the Kuat Transfer V2 two bike rack as a two inch hitch version. If you happen to have a two inch hitch, it has a slightly more weight capacity there. I believe about 60 pounds. So make sure you get the right fit for you. The way the bike is mounted though, is we have two mounting points. One is our wheel strap that's holding down our rear wheels and the other is our front wheel mount. So I like pretty much any bike rack that has a wheel mount just because it's so much more convenient that way and allows me to carry different style bikes. So I have a carbon fiber frame bike and because it's front wheel mount, I don't have to worry about warping or cracking the frame which I would if I had the traditional bike rack with a frame hook or clamp. Another thing about this is if you have step through bikes, women's frames or kids bikes, this makes it easier because you don't need to get a frame adapter bar. But when you want to take your bike off, you actually start over at the wheel straps. See that lever right over there? Well, you can press that lever on whichever side is easier for you. This just disengages the strap and then you bring it over to the side so it doesn't get caught up in your spokes when you walk over to this other side. Hold on to the bike as you do so. Press this lever, lift that hook up, push that out, and just like that, you're ready to go on a bike ride. So with the bike out of the way, let's take a closer look at the bike rack itself. We have this rear cradle and this tilts back and forth to accommodate your different wheel bases. You also have this strap which goes around your wheel, tightens down around it. Um, a thing about this is notice the different grooves on our cradle. On its own, you can carry up to three inch wide tires. And if you get the bike adapter strap or the fat bike adapter strap, you can carry up to five inch wide tires. You can see it's a little bit more obvious on our front wheel mount where we have those different grooves as well for those different tire widths. Now really doing most of the work is going to be your front wheel clamp. This goes down on your front wheel. You have different options for clamping it down to the side though. I like to go clamp it on the outside of the goal post. That way I can keep that area open. So let's just put it right over there so it's nice and neat. So that's one clamp and then two clamps. There we go. So I said this has a 40 pound weight capacity depending on whether you have the inch and a quarter version, more weight capacity whether you have, you have the larger version. When you have your heavy electric bikes, I do try to get a two inch hitch receiver version. That way you have that weight capacity for that. Um, let's take a look at how much length this adds to the back of our Buick Encore. Measuring from our bumper to the end of the bike rack, it sits at 34 inches of length. So 
whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, don't forget that you have bike racks as well as a bike behind you. The Buick Encore actually has a pretty low ground clearance compared to your taller SUVs and trucks. So let's take a measure for ground clearance with this specific bike rack. From the end of the goal post to the ground, it's 15 and a half inches, but compare that measurement with over here by the shank, and that's only nine and a half inches. So you can see how this has a shank rise. Very important, whenever you go up those steep inclines, like your driveways or hills, you'll want a little bit more of a ground clearance to make up for that incline, and this gives you that rise so that your bikes are sitting a little bit higher up off the ground. And when you're not planning on taking your bikes out for a ride, what you can do is move this into the compact or portable position. So we have that lever over here, press that lever again, but this time lift up on your bike rack. So that's going to be our compact position where it's folded up against our vehicle. Let's take some measurements again. Closest point is now going to be from our bumper to the front wheel mount. We have a clearance of about three inches, so plenty of clearance there. Pretty sturdy bike rack, not going to get any closer than that. Length now added to the back of our vehicle though is bumper to where that foot lever is, about 11 inches of length. So big difference compared to when this was folded down. Great a way to just carry around your bike rack when you're not planning on taking your bikes out, but you also don't want to take your bike rack completely off. But what is it like living with a bike rack behind your vehicle? Well, notice how with the Kuat transfer, this is completely visible. Um, you also are able to see your taillights. Now your license plate and your backup camera sit right over there. And with this open gold post design, doesn't cover it at all. If you're looking for something even more compact where you can open up your hatch, even with it folded up, that's the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike platform rack. This one, you're just gonna have to step on that lever, drop this down if you do wanna open your hatch. So we talked about the different shank sizes. And again, this is the inch and a quarter version. You do get a two inch adapter included. You have a hitch pin and a clip that goes in there. You do get keys, but that goes to the cable lock that goes around your bikes. So what secures this is the special hex tool that activates the anti-rattle um, knob that's on the inside and helps secure the bike rack to the hitch receiver. So let's do a quick shake test. As I shake our bike rack to simulate that road movement, <laughs> notice how I'm really moving the car at this point because that connection is secure and that helps decrease the rattle. My personal thoughts about this bike rack is I'm a huge fan of that goal post design. If you have an inch and a quarter hitch receiver though, you aren't really able to maximize the use of this bike rack. You might wanna consider some more compact options like the Let's Go Aero Neo or even the Hollywood Racks Destination. But if you wanna be able to tilt away your bikes and keep them on there while still being able to access your hatch, this does this really well and very easily. So definitely something worth considering. So this right here was a look at the Kuat Transfer V2 two-bike platform rack on our 2019 Buick Encore.